they're off. A race over a mile and a quarter here for the Hampton Court Stakes, uh, beginning downhill run, and as they do so, Juan Alcano in the yellow jacket is the first one to show. New World Tapestry dropped right in at the rear of the field. Mascat against the running rail is uh, just about level with King Carney, who's out wide in second and third places, and King Carney going through, in fact, to take the lead as they turn after a couple of furlongs. Berlin Tango, noseband, is back in fourth position, one off the running rail, also so one off the rail is first receiver. The scarlet sleeves on the outside of Kenzo Warrior in yellow and black. And about a length and a half behind those, a dark jacket of Russian Emperor sits up on the outside of New World Tapestry. It's, it's King Carney who moves along the side of the course with a batter two-length lead to Juan Alcano in second position. Mascat is another two lengths further back and running in third place at this stage. And Berlin Tango's a length off this in fourth place as they They've now come to the halfway stage. Then the yellow and black of Kenzai Warrior. Jason Watson on the inside of Frankie Dottori on first receiver. New World Tapestry, Adam Kirby just moving up on the inside of Ryan Moore on Russian Emperor at the rear of the field as they approach the home turn. King Carney still leading, although Juan Elcano's moved through to be very close now in second place. In behind those is Mascat and Berlin Tango together in third and fourth places as they're about to straighten into the home straight. First receiver behind those on the outside of Kenzo Warrior, then Russian Emperor and New World Tapestry. Berlin Tango with the noseband coming through to chase Juan Elcano. First receiver, Scarlet Sleeves to the right, and then on the extreme right, Russian Empress staying on strongly as they now approach the last furlong. Berlin Tango, White Jacket holding on in front at the moment. First receiver with a neck in second place. Russian Emperor coming at them strongly up on the outside. First receiver coming to tackle Berlin Tango. Russian Emperor joining this on the outside. Russian Emperor just got up to beat first receiver, Berlin Tango behind those, then one Alcano, Newell, Tapestry, and Kenzai Warrior. Ryan Moore and Aidan O'Brien won the second race on day one with Circus Maximus in the Queen Anne, and they've gone and done the same in the Hampton Court. Russian Emperor spoiling the royal party, Jim. Off with his head. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to say, I, I don't think you could have watched Russian Emperor's races beforehand and thought, oh, this is a really good horse in the making. But when you watch him today and see how strong he was at the end of this race, you have to think he's going to be, never mind what his dam did, that when this horse goes a mile and a half, he's going to be an even bigger force because he stayed on very strongly to cut out, to cut down Berlin Tango and first receiver, who both run fine races. Juan Elcano maybe overdid it a little bit, racing close to a strong pace, but uh, close home, he's a snug winner, Russian Emperor. And just to uh, to reiterate, really, that Galileo produces such tough horses. This horse was second in the Derrinstown Stud Derby trial just eight days ago. Yeah, and obviously sharpened up for that. And you and I said beforehand, he's out of a Fastnet Rock mare. Fastnet Rock is a very big horse. This is not a typical Galileo in appearance, is it? 